Hello everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. In the last part, we turned into the Flash and fought nine trainers in Mount Battle. And in this part, we are going to go to area number 10. Well, not area 10, but base 10, I suppose. And we're going to fight this guy. And you are a large human being, good sir. Pouch! Like, seriously, he's, like, gigantic. What is this? Oh! And, apparently, he's Alder. What with the hair and the Pokeball necklace and stuff, and I'm pretty sure Alder was reasonably tall as well. Not, like, tall like this guy, but... Anyways, Cypher Admin Dakim would like to battle. I'm surprised he didn't just pounce us into oblivion. Like he did with Vander, but I'm not going to complain. Anyways, he's going to send out Matang and Golem first. Um, this guy's strategy that he likes to use is he likes to have one Pokemon use Protect and the other use Earthquake. So that the Pokemon that is protecting is not affected by Earthquake. I'm going to use Confuse Ray on Matang because it is easily his most irritating Pokemon and I want to take it out as quickly as possible. And come on! Only hit twice. By the way, I love this music. Okay, good. I'm happy with this. It... Okay. I'm not going to complain. Bye, Matang. Golem, you're a moron. Alright, next he's going to set up Marsh Tom, which is really not a threat at all. Um, the only thing that it can really do is lower your speed with Mudshot. Other than that, it doesn't really have anything even remotely decent offensively. I think its only other offensive move is Mud Slap, which is a terrible move. And there's said Mudshot right now. speed fell, unfortunately. And... Ow! Wow, that golem is... Oh, crap! Well, that was unfortunate. Yeah, that golem really does not like its own team members, apparently. Anyways, let's send that Zoidberg, because why not? Let's see if I can outspeed the golem and actually do something. Spoilers, it won't be able to. Bye, Marshtop. And Zoidberg levels up. And here is Camerupt, which is... Oh, crap. Yeah, I didn't think that it would be able to... That Zoidberg would even be able to outspeed that golem. But anyways, that camera up is kind of... It's kind of annoying. Not as much as Matang was, but let's send out Garietta because we can. Well, I already did, so I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, what should I... Yeah, I'll yawn... I'm gonna yawn the golem because... Because of that, basically. Because, guess what? We have a shadow Pokemon! Meet Entei, the legendary beast of fire. It. Hello, takedown? That was unexpected, but I'll take it. Yay, Garietta actually got to do something in a battle full of Earthquake users. Hooray! Uh, let's see. 
let's do triple kick on the camera ups and rock throw on the camera ups. Not like Gary Edda will actually be able to do anything, but whatever. And bye, Gary Edda. Let's let's send out. Yeah, let's go Solaris. And all right, good. It hit three times. And uh, hello, Earthquake. You are exactly what I was hoping for. Also, by hit on top. Also almost by Solaris. Also almost by Entei. But yeah, the almost by is what I was hoping for. Because there I don't really have much of a reliable way to do much damage to Entei. Aside from Solaris's Psybeam, but whatever. Anyways, let's take out the camera wrapped. Finally. And let's go! One! Yeah, I didn't really expect that to do much. Um, for those of you who don't know, Entei has a catch rate of three, which is tied for tied with most legendaries and some other Pokemon for the lowest in the series. And Solaris leveled up. So yeah, this is going to be very difficult with my retarded challenge run that I'm doing right now. So if you're not doing a challenge run like I am, I would recommend buying a shit ton of Ultra Balls and a shit ton of Timer Balls and just using them. Because they're, they would be very, very helpful in this battle. So can't really do much else other than hope I get lucky, which I didn't right there. No, I don't want to use a Hyper Potion, what am I doing? And yeah, I'll put up a Reflect, just because it'll lessen the damage it does with Shadow Rush if it ends up even doing Shadow Rush. Usually it'll like to use Fire Blast a lot, which Reflect won't do anything against, so I don't know why I'm even bothering to do that. But anyways, it is still asleep, so... Yeah, let's yawn it, because I'm... I have a feeling it'll wake up this turn. And let's go. One, two, three. Oh, you douchebag! Uh, here comes the fire blast, and looks like I predicted correctly, thankfully. So let's put it to sleep again, well, next turn. Yeah, this is probably going to take a while, in case you can't tell. Because this thing is incredibly irritating, and I don't like it. And this is only the first of many that will be like this, unfortunately. One, two, ah, damn it. I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much. Oh, cool, he missed! And he falls asleep. That's good, that means I don't have to waste another Hyper Potion. So, let's throw a Pokeball. And, yeah, I'll call. Because I don't really have anything else that I can do unless I... I could try to hit it with Swift, but I have a feeling that that would probably kill it, and I don't want to do that. One, zero. 
Solaris! It's no good, it's not listening. So, lather, rinse, repeat. Aww. Don't know why I did that, but one zero. Uh, this is still asleep. But that's good. And our reflect wore off, so I might as well put up another one because I don't really have anything better to do. Come on. One. Come on! All I want you to do is stay in that Pokeball. Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask of you, Entei? Apparently it is. Anyways. Pokeball, call... Actually... Yeah, I'm gonna revive Oki, because, well, just in case one of my, um, Sidewinder or Solaris gets taken out. Oh, crap! It's, I probably should have yawned, because it's probably gonna wake up this turn, because it's gonna sleep for a while. Oh, cool. memory I like how I say I should have yawned and then it's still asleep and then I don't freaking yawn what the hell's wrong with me anyway here's fire blast oh crap Should I... Yeah, I'll yawn it and then... Yeah, I'll heal. Because I... I want Ente to be asleep. I would... Hello, Bite! You sure are unexpected. Okay, have fun falling asleep again, I guess. Why is there no fire blasts? You know what? Let's use a burn heal! Because I'm probably never gonna have the opportunity to use one of those again. So, why not? HA! You better have burn heal! I would have done that in Blaine's voice from the anime, but I don't actually remember what it sounds like. Ah! Stop hitting me with asterisk-shaped fire! And Reflect War off! And it's asleep again! This is the most exciting of battles. So yeah, let's heal Sidewinder again. And throw a Pokeball. Again. You have no idea how tempting it is to throw one of those Ultra Balls that I have, but I'm not going to because I'm going to stick to my challenge run because I can... Gah! Frick! Screw you, Entei! Got my hopes up, and then you let me down again. Back to one, apparently. Not that that's really a surprise at all. And 
toss a ball. One, two, three! Ah, oh, you dick! Oh, and you're awake now. Crap! Oh, and you're using Fire Blast! I didn't think you had any more of those. Crap! Yeah, I'm not gonna bother to heal because I don't think he has any more Fire Blasts left. I'm pretty sure that was his last one. Yeah, Shadow Rush. It on Solaris, okay, that was unexpected. I'm just glad that didn't kill Sidewinder because now he has the chance to Well, he yawned it. He had the chance to yawn it and he took it, so. Call, call, throw, grab. One, two, three! Yes! Thank the Lord! I am finally done with this battle! You have no idea how many tries that took me. I. I have no idea how many tries that took me. I lost count. You don't even have the frickin' right to call me a meddlesome pest after how many- after how long that took me, Dakim. We're Star Fox! Master Dakim. Ah, oh, scrub, you are hopelessly outclassed against your bureau. Zero chance of winning. I'm glad you recognize that, Takim. Bye, guys. He says as I look not even remotely near him. Okay, I will, I guess. Holy crap! Did you see that leap? Anyways, we get the F disc. And uh, we're just gonna leave now. Okay, not really. Yep. Shut up, I'm going! And he gets up on his own. Hello, Vander. And pointless text box is pointless. That's good, I guess. Where is it? I don't see it. I only see the palm of your hand. Or is the palm of your hand the time flute? Gasp! And we get the palm of his hand, apparently. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I will. Thank you. I'm planning to do so off-screen, because there are a few members of my team that, um... Yeah, they need some training. <coughs> Carry it up. <coughs> Sorry, Bert. Anyways, we get, um, TM-47, which, if I recall correctly, is Steel Wing. And are my Pokémon... They are not auto-healed. This is good to know. So, I'm gonna heal them. Yes, I would like to rest. Don't know why I put that on screen, but whatever. Anyways, there's one more thing I want to do before I close off the video, because this is... I don't even know. So we're gonna head off to Agate Village.
we're gonna go. Hi. Yeah, not gonna do that. We are instead going to go to the Pokemon Center. No, not really. We're going to go to the Relic Forest because this path doesn't lead anywhere else. So I can't really say anything else, like any other locations that we could possibly be going. Anyways, if you haven't guessed by now, we're going to be purifying Hitmontop. Hitmontop opened the door to its heart. Hitmontop regained the move agility. Hitmontop regained a whole crap load of experience points. And it grew to level 39. And it got a ribbon for some reason. I would like to give a nickname to Hitmontop, but I haven't thought of one yet. So I'm going to be doing that off screen as well. So, um, I think that's probably going to be the end of the episode right here. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, we're going to go see Egan again and reassure him that we're safe. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.